but his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law doth he meditate day and night. Let me tell you about my great God. Hey guys, Pastor Tim here. Hope you guys are having a great day. Hope you're ready to get your day started off in God's Word. We are on Genesis chapter 36, and we kind of take a, a break or kind of just a brief break from the story of Jacob, all right? And we have a chapter that's pretty much solely dedicated to Esau, Jacob's older brother. Not by much because they're twins, but his older brother. Remember the same guy that Jacob cheated, the same guy that Jacob stole the birthright from and stole the blessing from, then the same guy that wanted to kill Jacob at one time, but eh, not so much anymore. But their relationship was already uh, broken. Uh, they definitely were not, uh, they did not, they definitely did not exhibit the brotherly love uh, that you would expect to be amongst brothers. Uh, and in fact, we see in this chapter that uh, this is pretty much the genealogies of Esau. Okay, and we see in this chapter pretty much that the nation that comes from Esau uh, is the enemy of Israel. So although when you go through this chapter, and yes, this might be one of those uh, more tedious chapters of the genealogies about these were the sons of so-and-so, and so-and-so -and begat so-and-so, and so forth. Although you may not be very familiar with many of the names that are going to be seen in this chapter, you should be familiar or you will be familiar with the nation that comes from Esau and that's the nation of Edom. Esau is Edom. That's even mentioned in this chapter as well. And we see going forward, all right, that Edom, the Edomites, definitely become the enemies of Israel uh, later on in the Bible, way after the time of Esau and Jacob. And it all starts with the schism. Uh, this broken relationship between these two brothers chapters before. Uh, so Edom comes from Esau. Uh, they're the enemies of Israel. Another thing that kind of sticks out other than the list of all the, the, uh, the sons and so forth is the fact that, remember, Esau purposefully, all right, despite his parents, if you recall a couple, a couple chapters ago, purposefully took himself wives from the heathen women of the land of Canaan. All right. He didn't listen to his parents. He was mad at them for what they did, giving the blessing uh, unto Jacob and not himself. And so he purposely did something to spite his parents and hurt them and take wives of the heathen Canaanite women. All right. And this leads to him having many sons. He thought Jacob had a lot of sons. Esau also had a lot of sons, brought forth his own nation of Edom. Other than that, we get into the chapter. Other than the sons, we see that... Uh, Long before Israel did, Edom had their own kings and so forth. But this chapter is just a brief break from Jacob and the story of Israel. And we just seen what happens with Esau and what happened after the time of uh, them burying Isaac, their father. Esau recognizes that, you know what, Jacob and himself both have large company of people, large uh, groups of livestock and they couldn't dwell in the same place so he goes off and starts his own nation in the land of Seir. Um, that's all I got for today's chapter. Brief break. See what's happening with Esau. We see him. Uh, what happens when their relationship is broken. What happens when he uh, marries the people he's not supposed to marry especially just despite his own parents and we see this end up resulting in the birth of a nation that is the enemy of God's chosen people uh, the Israelites. Hope you guys have a great day. Hope you're still, even with a chapter like this, writing things down that stick out to you, all right? And recall when you read about the Edomites later, you can trace it all the way back to Esau and Jacob, all right? Tell somebody what you got out of God's word today. Tell somebody about your great God. Stay safe, stay healthy. God bless.